I do this earlier in the morning? It's evening feeding time. But I want to get it done. So, hoof trimming. Because I don't want to be trying to get these girls up on the stand when they're really any bigger than they are right now. But this one's going to be a chore. The other two should be no problem. This one, I'll have to pick her up put up there, probably. But anyway, I'm going to get started. I'm going to feed them on the stand this time instead of just putting the feed in their feeders. So that I can get them up there and they have something to do while I'm doing their feet. So I have this one's food. So I might as well do her first. She don't know what that's about, so. And I have to put her head through this side instead of here because she can still pull it out. So I will move the feeder over to there so she can reach the feet. We'll try to get her on there. Come on. Come on. Come on. Quick, quick, quick. All right, now we got to do that one over there on the other side. This one. I'll probably lay down for that. Oh, you're going to just put one leg off the stand? Okay. food. Yeah, I'm going to do your feet. Stand again before they have their babies to trim their feet. Because once they have their babies, they'll be on the stand all the time. After they start milking them. Oh, that foot's heavy over there. I can see why. Okay, I'm gonna have to get up there. Yeah, I know. Move over. Okay. Now, look at this foot. Okay. 
No, no, no. No. Meg, no, you quit. My nose always itch when I do stuff like this. Oh, God. Okay. Like the stiller you are, the sooner I'll get done. that one she is hard to catch i'm gonna move my camera back and out of the way because she's hard to handle seriously hard to handle yeah that wore me out Yeah, it's 76 degrees, and I have on a flannel shirt. I need a sleeve t-shirt. I'm going to check and see if you got any kind of other coming on. You're probably going to jump. No? You don't. You are just like nothing. Are there babies in there? We hope so. It's too early to see him wiggle. Yeah, now it's your turn. Let's see. Maybe she won't come back here and run over the camera. something about her I mean I milk her every day her baby's baby last year was a single and she was born January 27th so here we are January 5th 6th 5th I think so she's almost been in milk for a year She's bred two kids. I think March 23rd, 25th, something like that. So, it's almost time to dry her off. And that is a, a long process. But it is a process that you have to follow. If you notice, I gave her a full can of feed. That's what she's been getting since she had her babies. Every day, twice a day. 
because when she's producing, she produces a lot. Now, I say that, but over the last couple of weeks, she has really started to slack off. I mean, when I first start milking her, she usually produces like a quart and a half a day. And she produces that for months. She, every day this last couple weeks, it's been less and less and less and less. And this morning, it was 12 ounces, I think. So, I want to get her dried off at least, oh God, it's hard, at least two months before she has babies. It gives her time to regenerate. No, don't pull. Get ready to make colostrum again. And normally, most people have to put weight on their goats during that time, but she don't need no weight. None of them do girl fat. We'll get done faster. Okay. I thought ones are done. I noticed today she has like some long, long hairs on her back that I've never noticed before. Just a few. And they stand up when she makes this stand up. Okay, we gotta do your back feet. Anyway, to dry them off, I will reduce her feet by half at least. And she'll have as much hay as she wants, but Reducing her half, feed by half, it won't take but just two, three days, and she'll be down to giving absolutely nothing. You know, a couple squirts. It reduces the risk of vasculitis when you do it like that. No, no, no. We have more to put off. Hang on. I want to look. I want to look. Okay, there we go. Alright. You make it hard. Yeah, you make it hard by not being still. Move the camera again. Yes, ma'am. All right. out good night it's dark in here now <laughs>